Hello, Dark Moon Doll here. I just wanted to do a video for um, Spirituality Talk. Spirituality Talk's a talk, a show, a talk show. <laughs> a show that I do um, every now and then when I feel inspired to. In meditation, I get um, messages and I feel like I want to let them out and share them with you. A lot of them can be based on my life experiences here on Earth thus far, and a lot of them can just be. Um, you know, inspirational thoughts that I get when I am meditating. Because when I meditate, I feel like I'm connecting with my ancestors that are within me. And uh, if I have a question, I can ask ask a question within meditation and get an answer. It may not always be the answer that I want to hear, <laughs> but just the same, it's an answer. So I was in meditation this morning, and I was thinking about how there's so many lonely people out there in the world <clears throat> and technology has made it to the point where, um, oh, you don't have to be alone again. You know, people are right at your reach. But you're not actually connecting with the actual real... I mean, you're connecting with a person, but it's on a computer screen. And it's not the same as meeting somebody up close and in person. Um, trying to, uh, trying to, like, recreate something that's real is kind of hard to do when you are just communicating in the cyber world only. Now with that said, I can understand why people do that because this world has become really crazy and scary. You know, people are doing online dating or not even meeting each other, just dating online and just, you know, conversating via technology and never meeting, but just, you know, doing everything they can to have a relationship online but they're not able to, you know, join together and see each other face to face. Now that's, um, that's technology for you. That's this, this time period. And we're so disconnected. Um, we are looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> um, we become addicted to it, addicted to love, thinking about it all the time. Someone says something nice about, about us. Uh, compliments our appearance and we're just hooked on that person. And a lot of it is abandonment issues from when we were children and a lot of us had dysfunctional families and a lot of us didn't have parents that loved us or uh, paid any attention to us. So when we got older and I, I'm guilty of this when I was younger and dating, you get older and someone compliments you, tells you you're pretty, you're beautiful or I love you and all these kind of things and a lot sometimes it's just they haven't even known you only known you for less than a week <laughs> and they feel all these feelings about you and they don't even really know you that well you got to get a chance to know somebody um, there are instances where people just automatically feel attracted to somebody else and they feel like they've known each other from another time you know maybe another past life and that's cool, but still, this is a new lifetime, so you still need to get to know this person within this lifetime. So um, take your time. I think people want to rush to make things happen as far as that goes. Take your time to get to know you first, really get to know you first. Because um, I remember when I was going in and out of relationships, um, I was more of a person that wanted to commit to one relationship, and the other person wasn't reciprocating that uh, even though they wanted to but they, they just didn't have it in them that's just not what they were all about and I was okay with that as long as people were up, up front and honest with me about things and that that's what drove me crazy is when people weren't honest and they pretended like they want the same things that I do but they don't so um, it's worth it to take the time out and really um, you know just really had to click on a call, someone's calling me, I don't even know who it is. But anyway, just really take the time out to get to know somebody, and the only way you can do that is if you're taking time out to get to know yourself. Then you'll see the bullshit for what it is, or the goodness for what it is. So, yeah, don't be disillusioned by the fact that, oh, I'm almost such and such age, so I better hurry up and get myself a mate. Um, if that's the kind of world you're living in, then that's a pretty hectic world, because nowadays it's just like I think it's more important for people to try to heal themselves than to try to be on this endless search for the perfect mate because you're probably not the perfect mate because you haven't gotten to learn 
what you're all about and what uh, has kept you stuck in your world you know what I mean where you have to desperately be trying to seek for a partner or someone to you think is going to complete you you should be a complete package before and not you know in the process <laughs> so um, get to know who you are and that can be different ways you can do that meditation doing art work creative work to get you in contact with who you are naturally um, not the facade that you present outside the world when you're walking around and you walk out your door um, as you do that more get in touch with yourself then you'll be more authentic and you'll attract what you want the people you want in your world so that's just what I wanted to say I got that inspiration today when I was meditating I thought I'd share it with you guys because I feel like someone out there needs it so hopefully this helped anyone out there uh, who is feeling like oh man I'm never gonna find that perfect someone it's because you're thinking about it too much and you're not working on yourself um, yeah that's basically what it is <laughs> alrighty guys thanks for joining me thank you for subscribing thanks for liking thanks for sharing and thanks for your kind comments leave your comments down below and let me know what you think about this topic I mean I'm sure I'm not the only one that feels this way about it so the brightest blessings to you all and be patient with yourself and get to know who you are before you try to get to know who somebody else is <laughs> alrighty guys take care